I would have loved to see Tranquil and Lynn several hundred years ago, a couple hundred years ago. They used to have a fishing village named Ilsiklis at the mouth of the river that annually we would make our rounds and send families up to that river and they would be there managing and harvesting and bringing it back to our winter village. And that, uh, you know, that hints at the abundance that used to be in the river uh, hundreds of years ago. And um, that's, that's where we're trying to get it back to, is the system of abundance in, in this very watershed. So we've studied an 82-year history of historical air photos in this watershed to understand what damages were caused by logging and how the river was repairing itself and how the habitat was responding to these landscape changes. At first glance, it may appear that this watershed has recovered, but so much material has entered the river as a result of landslides and stream bank erosion. And because of all these changes within the watershed, we have a really wide and shallow channel. And we are now witnessing a 90% decrease in Chinook salmon populations. end goal basically what we're trying to do is to create viable good salmon habitat where they're able to spawn and migrate into the ocean. Here on the gravel bar we build bar drop structures. We're basically digging big holes with the excavators, jamming the logs in and then within those structures we also install our live willow cuttings. That helps the whole thing to grow, to be a, a life structure basically. We want to help accelerate some of that natural recovery. For example, we can protect the bank so that the trees in the riparian area have time to mature and root down deep enough so that they can then protect the bank themselves. And so we provide that short-term support to help the watershed in the long term. It feels great. It feels great being out here. And I'm hoping that it brings, um, brings the food back not only for uh, my children, but for my grandchildren that are to come and keep our, our resources strong. When we come back in 10 years, this gravel bar should be fully vegetated and the river channel will be deeper and more stable and move less over time. So that's our hope for this part of the river system. For me personally, I do care a lot about where I live. This is what I call a feel-good job. We, we see salmon right away in the work that we have already done here in the side channels where we already have installed structures. Um, so there's, there's hope for the local salmon populations here. This is a large restoration project, however, the scale of this project pales in comparison to the logging that occurred here. If we value wild salmon populations, we need to make an investment in restoring their habitat. I know that uh, the Tlaoquit systems of management uh, and, and principles of management were to lead our rivers to a system of abundance. And it would be yearly effort it's just interesting to think, you know, our population would have been 10,000 Tlaoqua eating salmon day in, day out, and yet this, the rivers were, were just teeming and overflowing with salmon. We, would, we just would love to see that again. <laughs>